Greetings, RC Model Geeks! And here we are. In the shed. Yet again for yes. part 28. Yeah, part 28. Of uh, the DB Sport and Scale Sopworth Pup Electric, electric Build. <laughs> <laughs> Colin's out of practice, as you can oh, uh, probably hear there. Yeah. It's so long since he's made an appearance in the shed yes. that we've eaten all his biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind, back behind the camera. He's back. Yes. Behind the camera with a Call of Duty t shirt on. Yeah. Yes. I haven't played that game for um, ages. Really? But I suspect there are a few of you out there. What, there since are... you were 50? <laughs> oh, yeah, since I was 50, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Well, today we are playing with the LIFO plates. Hmm. And trying to work out how to do. Never. Bear in mind, I've never done any lifo plate stuff before on a plane. This mm -hmm. is my first purchase of it. Mm. So I'm playing around with it, working out what I can do, not yeah. what anybody else can do. Uh -huh. What I can do with it easily, because I don't want to spend hours um, making something that's super perfect. Mm. But you know, I want to give it the feel of what's meant to be there. Yeah. So here's my first effort um, of playing around with it and making marks on it. Embossing, embossing, I yeah, embossing, and making holes actually, hmm. um, and just seeing what can be done. This this was my first attempt at doing a plate for this, and then uh, then it got changed into a test piece. Hmm. So we were trying like you know maybe cut up this right. The pup is meant to have a panel in it, a door somewhere in the middle there. Yeah. Yeah, we can show them that. Uh, is it up there? Oh, it's gone. No, it's gone. Oh, well. Um, yeah, it's meant to have a door in it. Um, we thought, well, let's try cutting it out first of all and see what happens. Mm -hmm. um, but that didn't really look good. So then we thought, well, let's try just embossing it from behind and drawing the shape of a door. Yeah. Um, hence what all these uh, marks are and stuff on here. And that sort of works all right. We reckon we can do that. Um, if you want to make holes, it's really easy. I've, I've been actually did most of this on a piece of balsa, mm -hmm. so it's got something soft underneath it, so yep. you get a deeper embossing. Yeah. And that works really well. And um, what we've been trying is pens, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Pens work really well for uh, for embossing your uh, your piece of metal. You know, you can just do stuff like that, and there you go. It's made uh, a line, so you can draw panel lines, for example, hmm. or doors. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to that method draw a door and you know like a fake um, hinge at the top and stuff. Yeah. Um, you can you can also actually if you've got a pen like this, if you want to make holes through it, mm -hmm. it works, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, you can just do like that, circle it round a few times. Oh, it's moved. Yeah, well, that, that didn't work, did it? I think that's because I was pressing on the knob. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was pressing on my knob when I was yeah. twiddling it round. It didn't work. Yeah. What was it this one we used? I think it was the blue one. One of them we used, and it was just really easy to uh, to punch holes through. There you go. Yeah, I heard that go, actually. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. A Good. perfect hole. Hmm. So if you want to make holes and stuff, you can do that. The other thing you can do uh, is you can make rivets. Um, we'll, we'll put some rivets on this uh, on this panel, shall we? Mm -hmm. Just to show you. Uh, I'm used to using a pen. Yeah. You can use something sharper if you want, like the tip of something, yeah? And all we're going to do is just push down into the metal. Mm -hmm. Oh, too hard. Yeah, pressure is quite the pressure key. is key. But there you go. You can make fake rivets. That's awesome. Just looks, like that. Looks good. Um, yeah. Obviously, pressure is the key. Probably better if you don't do it on a on a piece of balsa, actually. Uh, let's just let's just try it on something else like that. There you go. Obviously, it will go deeper into the balsa than it would on a. There you go. There's some more. So you can do rivets, lines, whatever you want. Hmm. 
Um, you can also do things like louvers and, uh, and other amazing things that we haven't worked out yet. But um, yeah, I mean you can you can score it quite deep, you know. You come up with some quite deep lines. Kind of on the wrong side, really. Let's do it on. Uh, that's fine. Just got to find some space on this test piece. Oh, oh there goes the pen. You could break your pen, of course. <laughs> Chinese pen. Is that, um, yeah, I'll try that. Oh yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin made a. Gordon Bennett. So yeah, you can make quite big ridges and and stuff and whatever. But we're mm. amateurs at this, and uh, yeah, we're as you can tell, trying we'll stuff soon, out. But we'll soon be experts. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it needs a lot of patience to do this, I think. Yeah. Uh, and a magnifying glass, probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, neither of which I have. And no pressure. <laughs> yeah. And no, and no pressure. So, but yeah, I mean, those are the principles of what you can do with a uh, lifer plate. Um, you know, you can make make lines in it, and, and you can cut it as well. You know, it just cuts with a pair of scissors um, or a knife. Actually, I mean, those that we did with just a, a normal knife. Yeah. So it, it does, um, you know, cut through mm. fairly easily. I was just looking for the scissors to show, but um, yeah. Oh, here they are. Oh, they're hiding. Uh, yes, so you know you can, you can cut quite intricate shapes out of it. You know, it's like souped-up tin foil, really, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's easy, it's easy to cut, and you know you could, if you, if you were that way inclined, you could make something quite interesting with it. Yeah. Origami in foil. Yeah, origami in uh, in, in foil. It's a six thou thick. Uh, hmm. Which ain't a lot. No. Um, yes. So anyway, um, that was just a bit of experimentation. Um, like I said, we're going to put these panels on here. You know, it's going to go round there like that, round there like that, and it's all going to look wonderful. It's going to look good. Yeah, one looked like this though, but... Oh, it looks like it's been through World War One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's weird, that I made I'll leave it on there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I have seen pictures, somebody made a, um, a Vickers machine gun um, out of LiFo plate, um, and we need a machine gun on here. Hmm. So I might have a go, um, but I might run out of patience very quickly, we'll have to see. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we'll have to play around with that and uh, come back to you uh, later when uh, when it's uh, done. Uh, what else has happened? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the elevators have dried off. They're all uh, uh, nicely on there. Mm -hmm. Got that. Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, to go. All the other decals are, are dried off as well, so that's all good. So you know, it's coming together. Yeah. Uh, there's at least another week's worth of videos here, though. Looking good. Um, I reckon by the time we're finished, maybe a bit more. Hmm. Um, yeah. Anyway, while you're uh, while you're watching this, you might as well watch the next bit of video. Yeah. We um, we, we decided to uh, play with my cocks this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, I'm, my hands got a bit sticky. They do. Um, but you know, um, it did the job, didn't it, Cole? Yeah. As you will see in this video. Yeah. Right now. Right, a bit of an interlude. We're going to get my cocks out. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to get his small cocks out. Yeah, my small cock. <laughs> Look away, Cheryl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, here it is. Oh, we're yeah. going to give it a go. Yeah. All right, we've, um, we haven't got the right clip, so we just have to hold this on. Um, uh, gave it a quick clean out, put some fuel in it set the needle valve, blah blah blah. So, bit of a bodge, but she will run like this, hopefully. Mm. Let's give her a bit more juicy-goosey. Mm -hmm.
this is the joy of a cox. Yes. Sometimes they like it backwards. Do they? I've yeah. never tried that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was running backwards there. Oh, I didn't notice that actually. Uh, you can see all the smoke was going forwards. Oh yeah. Let's try again. How much run do you get? Well, that was awesome. <laughs> my ears. <laughs> yeah, my ears as well. I'm, hey? I've got a ringing in them now. Yeah, I've and got I'm, a small cock in my ears. Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be healthy for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Small cocks, sticky hands. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Nice. I mean, that was like, what's that, 5% or something? Uh, uh, glow fuel? And they really, they want 20. Yeah, can't remember what that is. Um, and it's about 10 years old, that, isn't it, Carl? That was the last time you did any powered flying. Yeah. Model Technics. Oh, no, the label's come off, it's so old. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, uh, you know, she runs. Yeah. As you can see, I mean, the, the joys of glow, um, they do get very oily. Hmm. Oh, but you can't beat the smell, can you? Uh, so many memories are flooding back. Yeah. Of my many successful practices. Twice. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you, you know, she works. Yeah. What more can we say? That's um, good. You know, uh, uh, that'll get a glider up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, normal viewing will be resumed in a moment. When we. Finish playing with Rob uh, Small Cox. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <coughs> Smoke. Yes. Lovely. Right. Well, we've been busy, haven't we, there, Mad Colin? We've not been idle. <laughs> we've not been idle. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been experimenting uh, with the LiFo plate. Here's their first uh, go, which is the side panel. Um, a little bit crooked, but you know, um, uh, that's life. Um, and then I think the best bit of the day actually is oh, yeah. is era cowling, yeah, <laughs> complete with rivets, with rivets and the ring exactly as the full size. And I think that looks uh, quite nice. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, old Mad Colin there was busy um, dulling back the uh, the cowling. Because uh, it was just you know, way too uh, it's too new, and too shiny. Yeah. Mm. So we dulled that back, and actually that's a better match now for the uh, for the lifo plate there. So we've got to do the same on the other side, mm -hmm. and obviously on the top, and also underneath as well. Mm. Um, but that is for another day. We've learnt some techniques, haven't mm. we, today? Um, especially doing that around the front. That came out uh, really uh, really nice, actually. I like yeah. that. Um, yeah, I think we've uh, done well. We did high five, didn't we, when yeah. we uh, when we done that? Because <laughs> yeah. it looked so bloody good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, for first attempts, um, I think we have proved ourselves as geniuses. Yes, definitely. <laughs> we even got the full size up here. Look, yeah, the so that was their reference material there uh, to get an idea of what we were trying to accomplish. As you can see, looking at it, have you got it in focus then, mate? Yeah, I have. Um, you see we've got some rivet line across there, which we'll do on the top plate. Yeah. <coughs> um, but as you can see, I mean, you know, look at the finish, the fit and finish, you know, it's, mm. it's all a little bit rough still, isn't it? And, you know, that big stain mark there, that's probably where the pilot shit himself. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, and there's that, there's that ring around the front there that we've just done. Yeah. Um, and, and with the rivets and yeah. stuff like that. <coughs> so yeah, uh, it's uh, looking good. I mean, that's what we've got to try and create next, mate. Mm. Yeah, make the little um, well, uh, yeah. the big gun on there. That. Yeah. Um, we we might have a go at that, and we might not, but we will see. Hmm. Won't we? Yeah. But that's it for the day, I think. Yep. Um, you know, we've done we've done hard work, got dirty, yeah, played with my cocks. Yeah. And uh yeah. <laughs> a good day all round, eh? Yeah, definitely. Now Cheryl, don't you get too excited when you when you see that bit. Yeah. You know. I think she'll be quite surprised how, how small big it is. Oh, I was I was going to say, mate. <laughs> Actually, you, you, the you know who your friends are, are, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> oh, God. Right, that's it. So, wrap it up then. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh -huh. If you want to email us on the finger there, there it is. RCmodelgeeks at gmail.com. Yeah, well, it was gone. It is gone. <laughs> so we'll see you all tomorrow for part 29. Yeah, okay. Blimey. Yeah. I know. Getting closer, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Another three weeks and it'll be flying. Yeah. <laughs> it will be if we keep doing bits like this. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> anyway, are we going now? Yeah, oh, no, let's not, because we always do this. Every time we say bye, then we think of something to say. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you're on Facebook, um, and you're on the RC, and you're on the RC Model Geeks group. Mm -hmm. You can see things like Swallow's latest creation. Yes, can't you? And yeah. uh, how he's uh, coming along with his uh, Super 60 Low Wing. Mm. And there's a few other members on there that have posted photographs. I think uh, Angel there has posted some pictures of his uh, Heron mm -hmm. that he's building, and uh, something else as well. Anson, Anson, he's building oh, yeah. as well. Um, Jose, he's got his uh, Cirrus Moth pictures on there. So there's, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Go to the Facebook page. Yeah. Um, link is in the description bit down below. Mhm. Mm and now we're going. Oh no. What? What? No, oh, I can't. I just, I just thought I'd do it for a laugh. Oh right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That's it. We're going now. Oh, actually. Or what? We're going. So yeah. it's goodbye from Captain yeah. Rob. Uh, it's goodbye from uh, Mad Colin with Call of Duty on his t-shirt. Yes. Which I Goodbye. used to play. Bye.